the United Nations Children's Fund. Uh, UNICEF has said there is the urgent need for strong commitments by state governments and stakeholders in the education sector to develop uh, models to reduce the high number out of school children in Nigeria. UNICEF Education Specialist Azuka Mekite uh, made the remarks after two day regional stakeholders' meeting on out of school children and retention, transition, and completion models for Southwest states. Details in this report. Gathered here are stakeholders in the education sector from the Southwest. The focus is on child ways on addressing the menace of other school children in the region. Speaking on this development, UNICEF's education specialist said the number of other school children in the country is alarming, stressing that there is the need to build multiple learning pathways to tackle the menace in the country and retention transition in secondary education. We are particularly interested in this meeting on those who are at the risk of dropping out and at the risk of not actually completing secondary education. It's only for the southwestern states that we know that have high number percentage rates of children who are in schools. So there are issues here are actually around retention, transition and, and completion of secondary education for adolescents between the ages of 10 to 12 to 14 years or 18 years of age. We're also supporting and advocating that states begin to look at how can they create more access, working with community structures, community leaders, religious leaders, to begin to address social norms that keep children out of school. Also, there are some direct and indirect costs of education that actually impede demand for education for secondary, for secondary education. So these are some of the very good discussions we have had this afternoon. For commissioners to begin to look at how can they stop those direct and indirect costs of education, especially as the, as the Constitution of Nigeria says that secondary education is supposed to be free and compulsory for every Nigerian child. The third area of intervention we're advocating today is also for them to look at how can they scale up uh, foundational literacy and numeracy programs. Also speaking, UNICEF education specialist Babakana Aminu said out of six million children that enroll in primary education yearly, one million of them do not get to lower secondary school. Quoting from multiple cluster survey of 2021, Aminu said that the education completion rate in the southwest region revealed that the primary education rate stood at 92.6%. About eight point eight percent of children are out of school, but that is not the most worrisome data, if I may say, uh, concerning the southwestern state. Most of the worrisome data it has to do with retention, that is retaining those children that must have a role into school, but not only retaining them, but are they completing the uh, level of education that they have a role into? What I mean more specifically here is that the completion of primary school children when they are in lower secondary, that is in junior secondary school. And as well, when they transit senior secondary school, how well are they transiting? So the data shows about 92% and 85% of those children that are completing primary and upper secondary education. So that is really, really worrisome. That means a lot of children that enter into primary, primary school may not have the opportunity to complete junior secondary school. And that means the future for them is still blurred. So where are these children? That means these children, if they are not in school, they are out of school. If they are out of school, are they doing any vocational, are they attending any vocational uh, your old skills program? Or where are they? That means that is need for government and also all the stakeholders in education to really take action to address these issues, especially around the 21st century skills, foundational literacy and numeracy, and transferable skills, which are essential for them to thrive in the today's world. In his remarks, the Ogun State Commissioner for Education, Professor Abayomi Arigbabu, said to achieve the needed result in the state and the region in general, intervention must be done seriously, which include the provision of meals for children in schools. The school feeding program should be proper, vigorously pursued, so that this student can at least be sure that there will be at least one meal uh, in school, which will probably encourage them to come to school. Um, that one is also there. Also, there is need for vigorous campaigns, vigorous enrollment drive. You know, at the beginning of every session, 
or during the holidays. You want to go around to encourage parents, go to motor parks, go to marketplaces, go to uh, various locations in, in the towns and cities to ensure that parents um, bring their children to school. So, and let them be aware of policies that you are putting in place to encourage these children to come to school. It is expected that the deliberations at the stakeholders' engagement will lead to positive outcomes in the sector. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.